Police say an escaped inmate murdered five members of one family, including four children, before he was killed in a shootout with police. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. The five victims, four children and their grandfather, were killed near the town of Centerville outside Houston. Gonzalo Lopez had been serving a life sentence for capital murder. He was being transported in a prison bus three weeks ago when he attacked the driver and escaped. Fox 4's Sean Rabb joins us now live with the very latest from police. Sean. Heather, he was on the run for 21 days, and Gonzalo Lopez, it appears, had made up his mind he'd not be taken into custody again. A shootout ending the largest and longest manhunt in recent memory across our state, this time South Central Texas. The suspect stuck a rifle out of the window of the truck and fired several shots. He turned on this street here, which is Cypress. That would turn into a dead end for prison escapee Gonzalo Lopez. The 46-year-old convicted for a 2006 murder escaped from a prison transport bus as he was being moved from north to central Texas, stabbing the driver in the hand and running to freedom last month. Lopez, linked to the Mexican mafia, had avoided 500 law enforcement officers looking for him, with the $50,000 reward on his name. Thursday, the search intensifying after five family members are found dead near Centerville in Leon County a grandfather and four kids vacationing at a weekend home, their white pickup missing. The Tomball School District near Houston posting on Twitter, grief counselors available for students and staff, sending a letter about the deaths to district families. Gonzalo Lopez accused of the killings. He's serving a life sentence already. So he, he, you know, he didn't want to go back to prison, obviously, and, and we knew what kind of uh, person he was and what kind of action he probably was going to take. The hunt for Lopez started May 12th near Centerville, more than 200 miles from where it ended south of San Antonio. An alert officer spotted that white pickup stolen from the murdered family along Highway 16 between Poteet and Jordanton, 35 miles or so from San Antonio. The officer stayed behind him so not to alert the suspect that he was being tailed until we got close to Jordanton where Jordan the police spiked the tires. With four spiked tires, Lopez tried to get away. He went down there and struck a telephone pole and bounced off of that telephone pole, went down the road a little bit further, crashed into another telephone pole and a fence. He exited his truck. He, he fired additional rounds. Uh, at least four officers returned fire. He died in a blaze of bullets. His run to freedom ended. We're concerned, yes, sir, the, this dangerous individual is off the street, uh, and uh, no officers were injured. No citizens were injured. So, yes, it's, it's, it's a good evening. And this evening, we've not yet seen any report from the Department of Public Safety. We were hoping to learn more information. At some point Thursday, law enforcement uh, were informed that Lopez was in San Antonio. Maybe that high dollar reward convinced someone to make a phone call to police. Still a lot of investigation here, but not about the end of this, rather about the beginning and whether he had help escaping from leg restraints and a special area in that prison bus.